All right, we're going to talk about permutations today. So, first, um, we got a question here. How many ways can five people be arranged for a picture? So, if you think we got five places for this picture. So, the first one, we got five people that could be in that one. Well, if one person been placed, then we only have four for the second place, three for the third, two for the fourth, and one for the last place. So, um, each one of these options we're just going to multiply. So we're going to do 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And so we can work this out. 5 times 4 is 20 times 3 times 2 times 1. 20 times 3 is 60 times 2 times 1. 60 times 2 is 120 times 1 would still be 120. So it's 120 ways that 5 people could be arranged for a picture. Now, uh, what this is called is five factorial. So five with an exclamation part means five factorial. All right, so I showed you what factorial meant was in the last slide. So let's work out a couple of these. So three factorial would just be three times two times one. Three times two is six, times one is six, so three factorial would just be six. Six factorial would be six times five times four times three times two times one. So six times five is thirty times four times three times two times one. Uh, thirty times four would be one twenty times three times two times one. 120 times 3 would be 360 times 2 times 1. 360 times 2 would be 720 times 1 would be 720. So 6 factorial would be 720. So that's, you know, if you had 6 people for a picture, how many ways could they be arranged? 720 would be the answer. All right, so now we have how many ways can eight people running a track race finish first, second, and third? So this is like a factorial, only uh, we're not doing the full factorial here uh, because we only have three positions. Well, in the first position, I have eight people that could come in first. Well, once I've established my first person, I only have seven left to get to choose from for second and then six left to choose from for third. I don't really care in this case who finishes 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, or 8th. All I care is uh, who finishes 1st, 2nd, and 3rd. So all I do is take that 8, 7, and 6 and multiply them. Uh, so 8 times 7 is 56 times 6. Uh, 6 times 6 is 36. Carry the 3. 30 plus 3 would be 33. So that would be 336 ways um, that the eight track people could come into first, second, and third. Uh, so if you ever see this, this is called a permutation. And it's written, um, we have eight people permutated in three spots. So really when you're We'll go do another example too before I explain that. All right, so how many ways can a president and vice president be chosen from a class of 20? So we're choosing class president and class vice president. So this would look like 20 permutations of two or two permutations of 20. So this would just be 20 times 19 because we only have two spots available. So you just work out 20 times 19, uh, so let's work that out, 20 times 19, 9 times 0 is 0, 9 times 2 is 18, 0, 0, 2, 380. So there would be different eight, 380 different possibilities for picking the president and vice president. So when we're talking about permutations, the order matters that something is in. So first you want to pick your president and then you want to pick your vice president. Uh, so it matters which one comes first. Just like in the last example, it matters who comes in first, it matters who comes in second, it matters who comes in third. 
That way we know, you know, who gets the gold, silver, and bronze medal. Um, so if you're talking about permutations, order matters. You can also think about this on a, a lock, like on a locker. Uh, putting in your numbers the correct way will open your locker. If you don't, even if you put in the right numbers, but you don't put them in the right order, you're not going to get the lock open. So that's a permutation, is when order matters.